The Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon. Focus question: What is the Grand Canyon, and why is it special? A canyon is a grand. In a high, in the high desert of northern Arizona, is a canyon so big that it can be seen from space. This dazzling place is called the Grand Canyon, and for good reason. The canyon is a deep valley with steep sides, usually formed by a river. The Grand Canyon National Park stretches across about 1,900 square miles. In some places, the canyon is more than a mile deep. It can take two weeks to pass through a river raft. The canyon walls are rusty and yellow, and are made from rocks that are millions of years old. The Grand Canyon became a national park in 1919. National parks are special places. The land and the animals that live are live there are protected. More than four million people visit Grand Canyon National Park every year. Incredible corridors, condors. Don't forget to look overhead. The canyon is home to giant rare birds called California condors. California condors almost went extinct. There were just twenty-two left in the world in nineteen eighty-two. They were caught and protected so that they could breed in safety. Today, there were over five hundred living in the wild. California condors frequent the Grand Canyon during the summer, and several of them were raised in caves within or near the canyon. Formation. Time and the reason help shape the Grand Canyon into what it is today. A result happens when bits of the ground were worn, are worn away by wind or water for millions of years. The Colorado River ran over the land and wore, wore away the earth. At first, the river water made only a shallow cut. Channel in the ground. Over the time, it formed an amazing canyon. The Grand Canyon's wall has stripes of different colors. The stripes are layers of sediment that settled on top of each other over millions of years. Each layer shows a different time in Earth's history. The layers are much like the layers of a cake. The river is like a knife that cuts into the cake and shows the layers inside. The canyon's layers give a peak. Into the past and help scientists understand how Earth has changed over time. Scientists said the rocks at the bottom of the canyon are nearly two billion years old. Home in the Grand Canyon, native people who still live in the Grand Canyon include members of the Havasupai, Navajo, Haluapai, Hopi, Zuni,、uh, Apache tribes. In many ways, their lives are different from their relatives from long ago, but they have passed down many stories and traditions. Exploration, exploration. People have lived in the Grand Canyon for the least two, least twelve thousand years. Native groups have hunted, built homes, and grown food there. The area is still home to many nations. By the one eighteen fifties. Settlers still knew little about the Grand Canyon. In 1869, John Wallis Powell led a research team through the canyon. Local people called, taught him about the history of the canyon and shared shared safety tips. The native people usually passed their history down through spoken words. Powell's team was the first to write the history down. Over time, more visitors came to see the beautiful landscape. In eight nineteen ninety, the government made the canyon a national park and forced the Rockwell tribe to leave. There, they were kept out for many decades. Today, they have helped protect the canyon and its history. Some also act as guides and share their stories with visitors. A tale of two rings. The south rim of the Grand Canyon is the most popular, and it is open every day of the year. Across the canyon is the north rim, which is two hundred twelve miles. Drive away. Few people visit because it takes longer to reach for most. The north rim is at the higher 
elevation so it gets more show. It is closed between mid-October and mid-May. Make your own adventure. Today, millions of visitors go to Grand Canyon National Park. Some hikers explore the canyon for weeks. There are cabins where visitors can stay. Rafting on the Colorado River is also popular. The water can be wild, fast, and rocky in some places, making for a grand adventure. People also love to walk on trails along the rims of the canyon. They mar marvel at miles of colorful walls and watch at sunlight and shadows move across the landscape. A natural wonder. The Grand Canyon is one of the most incredible sights in nature. Its land, people, animals, and history will always be protected. Everyone who visits the national park is rewarded with an adventure and a view, unlike anything else on Earth.